every ideology that way comes with certain key concepts and terms which must be very clear to the practitioner and same applies to taguchi's designs as well so uh, let's start with the orthogonal arrays now if you have used design of experiments you would know about a property called orthogonality this property is key to taguchi's designs Taguchi's design uh, uses something called orthogonal arrays which was introduced by C.R. Rao. Uh, it helps to reach the optimum levels with minimum trials at minimum cost. Now looking at uh, some basic definitions starting with orthogonality, uh, let's say we have uh, x and y as two vectors. Then uh, we would call these two vectors x and y orthogonal if the sum of their dot products equals to 0. That is x1 into y1 plus x2 into y2 up to xn into yn. The sum of all these terms equals 0, then we would call the vectors x and y as orthogonal. And if these two vectors are orthogonal, they would be mutually perpendicular as well. Now coming to an array, it would be called orthogonal when it is balanced by considering all levels of all the factors equally distributed in the array. So we can say that the orthogonal arrays are, are balanced designs that belong to the family of highly fractional factorial designs. Now to understand an orthogonal array, let's uh, consider two factors x1 and x2. Now both factors have two levels, one high and the other low. High is represented here as 1 or plus 1 and low as minus 1. And this array or the experimental layout is said to be orthogonal if all the levels for all the factors are taken for experimentation equal number of times. Which means we have got two factors here x1 and x2. Both these two factors have got two levels 1 and minus 1. So if we try to consider the number of pairs that we can make out of this 1 and minus 1, we would uh, say that okay the pairs can be 1 1, then we can have 1 minus 1, we can have minus 1 1 and then finally we can have minus 1 and minus 1. So these are the pairs that we can make out of the levels 1 minus 1 for two factors. And if all these combinations are present in an array representing two factors at two levels, then that design or that array is orthogonal, which we will see here that all those four pairs are being used in this array. So that way this array qualifies as a orthogonal array. We can also check the property of orthogonality that we defined earlier. So in this table, if the dot product of all the levels of all the factors add up to zero, then the property of orthogonality would be upheld in this example. So in this case, the first run has factor 1 at level 1 which is the higher of both the levels and factor 2 also at level 1 and the product would be 1 into 1 which is 1 here. In the second run factor x1 is at level 1 whereas factor x2 is at minus 1. So the product becomes 1 into minus 1 which is minus 1. So that's how similarly we get minus 1 and 1 in these remaining two runs. And finally, if we add up the terms in the last column, we see that we are getting the dot product of xi and xj as 0. So that basically qualifies this array from an orthogonality point of view as well. Now, the main advantage of this orthogonality is that each factor can be evaluated independently without the influence of other factors. 
So orthogonal arrays uh, help us to represent the controllable factors and the noise factors in an experimentation layout. To understand this in more details, let's have a look at a simplified view of how an experimental layout will look like after choosing an appropriate orthogonal array. So let's say we have to study how much a wire heats up when electric current is passed through it. So as a part of the system's uh, design, we carefully identify the design factors. Let's say the factors include the wire diameter, wire length, the material the wire is made up of. Let's say ambient temperature has an influence on heating, but since it cannot be controlled during the actual process, uh, it becomes the noise factor in this case. The factor levels are also selected carefully as we have shown here in the table. Now the design factors or the controllable factors uh, with their levels, they form the inner array in case of an orthogonal array. The objective of the experiment is to find the optimum levels for these factors, the factors which are there in the inner array. The noise factors on the other hand, they are in the outer array. The noise factors influence the response but as we said uh, they are not controlled during the use of the product like the example of the printer that we took some time back where paper type was considered as a noise factor because uh, it's not possible to control which type of paper is going to be used by a customer. So care has to be taken while choosing the levels of these noise factors. The levels should ideally represent the range of conditions which will exist in normal product use and the experimental response will be uh, noted for each of the noise factor level as shown here in this case and this is the general representation for orthogonal arrays where s is for the number of levels for each factor k is for the maximum number of factors whose effects can be estimated without any interaction and n is uh, for the total number of trials during experimentation. So if we take some examples like in this case uh, L8 orthogonal array can handle 7 factors at 2 levels by conducting 8 experimental runs. Similarly L18 orthogonal array can handle mixed levels. 1 factor at 2 levels and seven factors at three levels by conducting 18 experimental runs. The table here shows a standard view of the list of orthogonal arrays available in Taguchi's designs. In the coming slides, we'll see practically how uh, do we choose a specific array. Uh, the columns in this table represent the array notation that we saw on the previous slide like the number of experiments to be run, maximum number of factors a specific array can handle and the various factor levels that are explained by a specific array. Like for example if we take L8 we can see L8 here in the third row so it says eight experiments and the design can have maximum seven factors at level 